Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology channel and um, we of course talk about uh, all sorts of things here about Windows and computers. Um, we have a little update on, um, you know, a lot of people are asking me, I don't understand why 7th generation or older CPUs are not in the list of compatible CPUs for Windows 11 and um, there is one specific item that when you look at the do documentation uh, about CPUs that you understand why they stopped at 8th generation for the support of Windows 11. So 8th generation or Ryzen 2 and up, uh, the first Ryzen series of uh, 1000 are not included in there. Uh, you have to have newer than that and uh, the simple uh, thing that they actually require in Windows 11. So here if you look at uh, my processor, I'm all right because this is a Ryzen 7. Um, so one of the things that all CPUs of the seventh generation or older of Intel are missing is mode-based execution. So mode-based execution, what it does is actually help in the performance when running all sorts of virtualization. And in one case here, Microsoft in Windows 11 um, always mentions how security is the number one most important thing. And so that's why the TPM 2.0 is required for certain um, you know, security aspects of Windows, but also the mode-based execution, if you don't have that, you will lose a lot of performance when you're running virtualization-based security. And that's why they have actually put the bar at the eighth generation. And of course, once again, they focus a lot on, well, all of that is due to the higher security that they want. And it is... Uh, you know, essential for them apparently that this is there. Now, they let you run, of course, on older hardware uh, that are not supported, but that's the thing, is a lot of these features of security will not work. And I don't know exactly up to what point that can, you know, impact uh, or standard user of Windows. TPM um, can impact anyone because it is, you know, a lot of people have the impression, well, you know, I will never use this. Well, it's, it's not you that decides if you use it or not. It's depending on what you're going to do. It's going to be used for you for higher security. Uh, people have the impression we have. It's like something that you will actually uh, either use or not, or I'm not a power user. I don't need that. It, it doesn't need to be a power user. I always say it again and again. You do online banking. It's extremely important that your security is at the maximum level. And that's for everybody. And of course, TPM, that's one of the reasons why they want to push TPM. And of course, Secure Boot. But um, the uh, mode-based execution is also another one. And um, apparently, when they start doing virtualization-based security, it really, really cripples the performance of the computers. So uh, this is kind of an interesting aspect of... Uh, why they put the bar so high in uh, Windows 11 for minimum requirements, apparently. So we'll see, anyways, as time goes by for those that have unsupported PCs. And of course, I like to hear from all of you that have unsupported PCs when there's new updates, um, you know, if the updates went through. For example, this week, we're possibly getting the first bug fixing updates for Windows 11. Uh, that'll be interesting to see if you guys are getting the bug fixing updates also uh, for unsupported. So that's going to be uh, something that I will be waiting for your guy, you guys uh, input on this. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us a thumbs up. Thank you for watching.